How are you? This is Marie. Some friends asked me how I blend layers together in Sumo, and I found I couldn't really explain how, so there are many, many ways. I thought I'd record myself while doing it, just to see how I do it. I highly recommend the Wikimedia Commons website where you can browse for hours and find a great variety of beautiful high quality paintings, drawings and photos. What's great is that almost all may be freely reused without individual permission as long as you attribute the original artist or photographer. I love this drawing of Van der Pel, and I have a feeling it would be lovely with a personal photo I took last week in my favorite draw, my favorite garden. So I click on the drawing to get the higher resolution file, and I save it to my computer. Like that, enregistrer. Then I go back to Sumo and click on the Create button. I'll close the image I had opened before and open from my computer Van der Pel's drawing I've just saved. So the drawing should appear as a background image. Now I want to blend it with a personal photo I took in a favorite garden and saved in my computer. So I'll click on File, Import to Layers from my computer, and choose the JPEG Graminé Argent, Silver Grasses. It should appear as a layer just above the background layer of the pencil drawing. It's a huge photo, so you'll see only a portion of it at a time. The photo is on top and completely blocks the drawing. I'll set this top layer to Multiply Blending Mode temporarily just so I can see the drawing in the layer below through the photo while I move it around. So with the arrow tool selected, I move the photo around to see all parts of it while trying to find a place where I think the two images will fit nicely together. Somewhere I think the grasses will like softly frame her little face and cradle her body and enhance the, the beauty of both images. Now I usually take my time to do this, lots of time. I don't rush it. I've cut out a large portion of this moving around so I don't completely bore you with it. Now this looks nicely positioned so I leave it there and start the fun part of blending. I make sure the top layer is selected in the right hand side column. It should be colored in a darker gray. I click on different blending mode settings to try them out and see. Now I'm no expert so it's all trial and error. I see this isn't working so well so I'll set the photo layer back to normal and place a drawing on top of the photo layer. I'll see what happens when I try out different blending modes on the drawing instead. So I'll try darken, multiply, linear burn, Mm, linear burn looks interesting. I'll try a trick of the trade that works well sometimes, but first I'll set the layer back to normal and duplicate it to keep the original drawing intact while I work on the copy. I'll place the original layer out of the way underneath it all and click select the copy on the top. I click adjustments, negative, and try out the blending modes with the negative image. I try out a linear burn again. Nice. I'll try others to see. Now lighten or multiply. That's nice too. Hmm. Back to trying out others. Lighten, no. Screen, no. Overlay does nothing. Hard lights. Ooh, hard lights is very interesting. Very much so. 
but I think I'll go back to the positive image, put it back up and put the negative image on the bottom and try this this hard light with the positive image and I like it a lot a lot a lot try the others just to see difference no and invert no so I'm going back to hard lights which I like a lot so I think I won't be needing the negative image, so I'll get rid of it, put it in a garbage can, and work with the normal image on hard lights. Now for some fine-tuning, adjusting curves. So adjustment, curves, and I'm going to take the window away, out of the, out of the way so I can see what I'm doing, and pull down the curve a bit. Play around with the curve to see if I pull it down too much the image will be too pronounced and I don't want that but I just want to see where it goes and see this is way too pronounced so I'll pull it up a bit like that and I'll click on and off the preview button to see if I like the adjustments. So this is without and this is with the adjustments. So I like it. So I go ahead and I'll play with the color curves. I'll pull down the red curve so it leaves more green and blue in the image and I like that a lot. So I'll go ahead and play with the green curve. I'll add a bit of green, pushing it up. Makes a nice fresh, fresh young color, fresh grass. And I'll tickle the blue curves just a bit. I think I'll push it up to add a bit of blue. Oh, I like that. I'll put some more. Some more blue so it makes richer tones. I like that a lot, so I'll click the OK button. Now I'll click on the bottom layer to fine-tune the garden. I click Adjustments, Curves, and put the window out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I want to see her face, so I'll put it up here. So I'll drag it down, down the RGB curve. I'm getting a bit of a lag here, I'm sorry. There. So bring it down a bit. And click on the preview button on and off to see if I have enough or not enough. If I like the changes or not. And I like it. So I go ahead and click on the color curves. So I'll try the red to start with and pull it down. Like that. That's nice. And the green curve, I'll push it up. That's pretty. Just like that. That's nice. So now with the blue curves, curve, I think I'll pull it up. But first I want to see just what it does if I pull it down, just to see. So pulling it down should take out some blue and leave in more yellow. See, so you have a more yellow color here. It's nice, but I think I'll go back to my first idea, which often is the best. So I'll push it back up and add some blue. Oh, and it makes a nice, nice mix of tones in there. I like it a lot. Click on the preview button to take out the changes and back in to see if I like them. And what do you think? 
without and with. I like the changes a lot, so I'll click OK. So that's it. Now before saving it, I'll go back to the original file to get the important information I want to save with this photo manipulation. I'll select a pencil drawing of sleeping child van der Pel and copy it. Then go back to Sumo Paint. Now click on the Save button, the blue Save button, and it'll ask me for a title. Now what should I call this? Uh, maybe um, uh, Summer Dream, something like that. It's not original, but that's not really important. What's important is the description. I need to put the important information in the description. So, Summer Dream. Now I click in the description box and write that it's a sumo manipulation. I don't want people to think that I drew this myself. I don't even want to pretend I'm that good. So, sumo manip manipulation, and I will paste inside uh, the information I copied from the site. So it's a drawing. And I'll write by Van der Pel. Like that. And then I'm going back to the site, back to the Wikimedia Commons. Okay. And I'm going to take the address, the URL address, copy it, and paste it in the description so that people will be able to click on it to see the original file and admire his work. And I'll add that I um, blended it with a personal photo of a favorite garden. And that's it. Now I click on the Save button. Like that. So it's off to Sumo. There are the images there. And I have Summer Dream by Marie and the description. I click on the full scale image. There it is. So I hope that has been helpful and that you'll have lots of fun playing with the layers and the curves and trying out, out all sorts of things. Bye bye for now. I hope to see you on Sumo Paint.